New police body camera video that may be difficult to watch. It shows Alpharetta police officers using a canine during a nonviolent mental health call. And attorneys for Travis Moya, the man in this video, claim Alpharetta police officers lied in their police report and unnecessarily used the canine. But police say otherwise. Your CBS 46's Tori Cooper with more out of Alpharetta. Yeah, the Alpharetta Police Department released a statement today to the media saying that after reviewing all of the videos and the 911 calls, they determined that the officers did not violate the use of force policy and will remain on duty. However, Moya's attorney says that after reviewing the videos, it's clear that the officers used unnecessary use of force. Ow! Ow! Get this dog off of me! It's a new vantage point from inside a canine attack on a man who says he was experiencing a mental health issue. Please. The video speaks for itself. The dog was mauling him. Last Sunday, Alpharetta police say they responded to Travis Moya's household in Alpharetta after Moya's stepson and wife called 911. Why are you doing this? There's um, a situation occurring right now at my house. My um, stepfather, he's um, acting like all wild and cr crazy. He's like growling. Yeah, we need, we need an ambulance. We don't need the police. We need an ambulance. Oh my God, I don't want him to see the police and get alarmed or anything. I want Despite calls for medical personnel, moments later, video shows Alpharetta police officers showing up at Moya's house. How's it going, man? What? We're just making here to make sure everything's okay. In the police report, officers say Moya, who is also now facing felony obstruction charges, took off his sweat jacket while balling up both of his fists and appeared very agitated. Come here. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. But new body camera video shows Moya put on his jacket and was trying to walk inside his house peacefully. Seconds later... Ground. Don't fight with us or the dog. Police say Moya was resisting arrest and attempting to get away, but video shows he had three officers on his back before he was tackled to the ground where they attempted to handcuff him. Sir Esposito waited three seconds, actually a little bit less than three seconds before using the canine to attack. Video shows the canine still biting Moya while both of his hands are behind his back. He's on two different antibiotics for how severe the infections are to his arm because of all of the bacteria that was on this canine's teeth. They're in mental health counseling. He's having to see an orthopedic because of the damage to the shoulder. At no point was he actively resisting law enforcement. But Alpharetta police say Moya was resisting and officers followed the department's use of force policy. The Fulton County DA says they are now reviewing the video as well. For the Fulton County District Attorney to dismiss the charges. There's nothing more to investigate. Now Moya's attorney says they want to see all of the officers face charges as well as disciplinary action. They want the DOJ to now step in and they are filing a civil lawsuit against the city as well as the police department. Reporting, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.